I haven't done one of these in a while, but once this shoe became available on Nike ID, or sorry, Nike by you. That was a close one. But today I created my own version of one of my favorite basketball shoes of the year so far, and I really like them. Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Before we get started, if you could do me a quick favor, hit the like button or dislike button. It doesn't really matter. Each of them are considered engagement. Leave a comment, fight that algorithm for us so that we can be seen by more people. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. You can also turn on notifications and that would be amazing. But today I finally got in and I don't mean finally as in it took forever. I'm actually surprised at how quick these were actually made and shipped out, but I got my Nike by you Sabrina 2s and whew, man they're awesome. In case you haven't used Nike by you I think the last time I did personally was with the PG5. Were those your Spongebobs? Yeah was that what I did? <laughs> they're yellow? Yeah they're just a weird <laughs> color. I can't remember what the inspiration was. I still have them. I, I actually play in them outside every so often but I'm pretty sure that was the last one that I actually made. Nike by you has really been kind of like a big miss lately. I don't know if it's just because the models that have been featured on there aren't ones that I really want. A lot of them have been like retro or casual style or runners but I really miss the days where you can like make your own basketball shoe. So that's what I've done today. I hope that I did a good job but obviously you guys will let me know also I don't know how I really wish that you can upload a picture in the comment section of YouTube maybe one day they'll update the damn app for something like that because I would like to see your guys's Nike by you stuff I think that's like my favorite thing about Nike by you is just seeing what other people create so if you're part of our discord community already and you've made a pair uh, if you can just send me a pic that'd be dope and if you're not part of the discord community shame 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 on you. Uh, Instagram's the only social media app that I use, and my handle is just simply at Nightwing2303. If you wanted to tag me or something, would love to see what you guys create, especially if they're already in. Like, I don't want to see the render. I want to see the finished product. The render always scares me. I'm like, what if they don't look that good? I basically made a shoe that I really want, but I can't get because resale prices are just ridiculous. And so I made my own. And what shoe is that? <laughs> the alternate Bruce Lee's. It's one of my favorite Kobe colorways that does not include an original run. You know what I mean? Or part of the original run, whatever you want to call that. So yeah, this right here is what I ended up creating. Do they look identical to the Kobe 5 Pro Tro alternate Bruce Lee's? No, they don't. Uh, do they look close enough? I think so, especially at first glance. I was like, whoa, they did come out really cool. They are slightly different though. So that's kind of what I like is that they're close enough, but not quite the same thing. So I don't feel like I completely knocked the shoe off but I definitely use this base model that looks a hell of a lot like the Kobe 5 and I created something really cool. I ended up going with these solid rubber outsoles. This is something where Nike by You is really great for basketball players that want very specific things on their footwear but maybe can't get that with the regular general release items. One of those examples would be gum rubber. You can actually get gum rubber on the Sabrina version of the by You, so that's really cool. Uh, the translucent stuff where it's glow in the dark you can get that as well. I think they had two color options when I actually made these. I don't know if they've updated it since then. And then you've got the solid rubber stuff as well. This time around, I don't remember seeing a uh, XDR version because usually they have XDR as an option too. And again, I don't know if they've updated it since then, but if they have, that's really cool. If not, slight missed opportunity, but I will say that typically the XDR versions are very boring because it's only like a gray outsole, like a dark gray one. And that might mess up what you're trying to actually accomplish with the color on on the upper and everything. However, the Nike by U's are standard, so they have the same exact tech specs as the regular general release versions. This particular shoe is a four foot zoom unit, looks just like this. And then the midsole itself is Cushlon 3.0, and this is the pair that I've been playing with indoors. And while it's not the most durable shoe, it is one of my favorites right now. Are they super tech heavy? No. Are they just like playing in a pair of Kobe 5s? Not really. I mean, they're kind of similar, but it's not exactly the same. Is it close enough? Why, well, yes, it is. And what I really love about these is just that I can play in them without a ton of pain in my Achilles area. I've been having like some crazy Achilles tendonitis lately and anything that's a little bit too rigid really aggravates the fuck out of it. And so this one actually has good forefoot flex so I like that but it doesn't like miss completely on the midfoot torsion support. So that's something that I'm really hoping like really hoping that the Air Jordan 39 is able to accomplish without that midfoot support because I really want to love those. I'm, I'm going to play in them tonight. I'm so excited. Six hours later. <laughs> 
Now, before we get into the materials, well, first off, it's pretty much the same thing, but are they slightly different than the stuff that came out originally with the general release? They are a little bit, but very, very minor stuff. So just in case you wanted to know how much they weighed, this is the original version right there. And then the Nike Bayou is a little bit more uh, heavy. I don't know why. So while it's not a huge difference, weight is a difference. I'm wondering if it's the rubber because one's solid, one's translucent but it could be something else i'm not sure and then the only other real change is right here at the toe or the tip of the toe hopefully you guys can see that but they have uh, those little kind of like snake scale looking things to protect the mesh material and on this pair it's just really smooth uh, very much like in line with the mesh so it's like not a big difference when you you know roll your finger over it versus the original pairs which uh, obviously don't last long so i don't know what one's better um but yeah so that's that's the only true difference is like you can definitely see that those are there and then these are barely there outside of those two differences there's really not much difference and i think that's a great thing because again you're getting what everybody else can get on the shelf but you're getting it just for you because it's nike and because by it's you. by you yes <laughs> like i was saying before the majority of the materials are exactly the same so we do have the mesh or textile build it's the main body of the shoe you can't see it like on the general release pairs but they do still have the lockdown flywire flaps inside the midfoot area uh, these just happen to be the same exact color as the mesh so the, you really can't see like the flywire accents and then obviously i mimicked every thing else to look like the kobe 5 alternate bruce lee so the synthetic panel right here i've done up in white same thing with the laces i don't typically like white liners especially on the shoes that i play in but i did it here because it was just like the original shoe so i really tried to mimic that i couldn't get the real big chunk of color or the little lip right up here with the yellow blocking so i ended up just going for like the accent stitching in white and then the little leather tab back there i did in yellow just as the bruce lee little piece right back there because i think the other one is like majority white in the heel you can add lettering to the midsole and i thought that i did but they're not on here so i must have like skipped that step on accident but you are able to add numbers on the back heel so i did that i added the two three and the zero three og supporters of this channel already know what those numbers mean so if you could be a friend and help out the newcomers down below in the comment section let them know and then the metallic swoosh is something that you can also like switch up you can switch up whether it's metallic or not i chose to go with metallic the original one is red bordered and it's a white swoosh i could not again do like that kind of like detail or level of detail but it doesn't really bother me i, I really like the way that it came out i think that it looks really cool something to note is that this back stitching area you actually can change what that is i didn't notice that until i had already checked out not that i would have changed anything because i did like this look best but there was one that was kind of like a elephant print but it wasn't i don't know what they called it i don't know if it was safari or something else but it was some kind of print it did look cool i will say and it gave you the the chunkier blocking of color and then there was another one that i can't remember what it is but there was a third option now as far as sizing is concerned they're listed in women's sizing so just keep that in mind i go with a 10 and a half which is a men's size nine they fit me perfectly uh, that's exactly what i've been rocking with with these guys and i wouldn't change that for anything so i ordered the same exact size and i think that these look so good man and with all of that being said what do we happen to have for today's question of the day today Today's question of the day is brought to you by Instagram because this question came across my feed and it made me laugh. Tell me your absolutely least favorite song, one you just absolutely hate with all your heart. I don't think in those terms. No, I know, but like you're somewhere and music plays everywhere and you're just like, oh, Laura, this one's going to be stuck in my head forever or... And that's exactly what happens. That's <laughs> the, it, it doesn't matter if I like the song or not. Five seconds later, I'm walking somewhere and I'm humming that sh So do I truly hate it? No. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hate is such a strong word. There are things that I hate and it's definitely not music. I will say that I used to really dislike country music. I know. But there's like a this new wave of, I don't know what you call called them. it last night pop country that's oh well that's just what i've heard people call yeah. it so like i just i think that calling anything that's popular pop like being like ah, oh, whatever it's just pop like i think that's a cop out uh, i think that that's like dumbing down the facts which is it's popular for a reason mm -hmm. you know what i mean that's what i'm saying like i don't focus on i don't like because it was it's like that with anything like like actual pop music people dislike for a long time pop punk people dislike for a long time anything that's popping like everybody's like trying to like be a debbie downer and stuff i'm not like that i just literally disliked country music because i could not 
and relate to it. It was just all shit where I was just like this, I'm, I don't live in the sticks. I don't live in the woods. My dog didn't die. My wife didn't leave me. Not that any of those things have happened now, but I can appreciate what I couldn't when I was younger, which is that it's all storytelling. It's storytelling in a way that's like, I don't want to call it poetic, but just like soothing to the soul, to whomever's listening. That's why I don't like on music or genres or anything like that uh, today. Maybe when I was a kid and I was dumb, but like today as an adult where it's just like, nah man, like there's something out there for everyone. Even in footwear, you can say the same thing. Like I might love these on court and some people might hate this thing. Well, as a lifelong country lover, I've really enjoyed this past like year or mm -hmm. so of actually getting to listen to it with you because before I would just listen to it when you weren't around because mm -hmm. you were not such a fan of it. You'd be like, this is putting me to sleep. <laughs> it really was, you know what I mean? But like, I just didn't give it like time. I think that that's the cool part about anything. And that's where like, I'll give like retros and stuff like that where like some people really are like hard on the new things, you know what I mean? Being like, just if you're gonna retro things, only do original stuff. And it's just like, you know, the new stuff is somebody's new thing. Like the white cement four or the original Bruce Lee five or whatever is somebody's like first love of whatever that footwear or whatever the music genre anything whatever it is and then this new colorway whether i like it or not doesn't matter because that is someone else's gateway into that new realm of whatever the genre is and so like an air jordan green glow like i might might crack some jokes about it and be like oh these were never truly that popular like the way that they try to spin it which is true but it's somebody's first Jordan 3 or something, you know what I mean? And, and that person's gonna remember that shoe the way that I remember a white cement 4. And that is important because that's what keeps everything alive. And so that's where this country thing or whatever genre it is, it's evolving all the time with all these new people, all these new artists, all these new takes. I think it's a good thing because you're only bringing more awareness to new people that you haven't hit yet. Here's to mama, here's to Jesus, here's to all of my but with that being said, is there a song? That was the thing, right? Not a genre, it was a song. A song. If you can't pick a specific song, feel free to like pick a genre, even though that's pretty, it's pretty damning, but have fun with it. Let us know down below in the comment section if there is a specific song that comes on and you're just like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna yeet the radio. <laughs> For real. And on top of that, did you make a Nike by you, Sabrina 2? If you did, what does it look like? Tag me somewhere. Uh, I really want to see your guys' designs. On top of that, how did mine come out? If you wanted to copy my design, go for it, because I copied someone else's, because it was not an original idea. The alternate Bruce Lee's are super fire. I really wish I could have gotten those for retail. But yeah, sound off below. Let us know. Thank you guys so much for everything. Thanks for hanging out with us. We really appreciate your guys' time. Uh, hopefully everything was fun and lighthearted, and we will catch you guys on the next one. So until then, y'all have a good one.